drawing, a model. It's, um, you could say it's uh, like a, also like a scale model, but with some more dimensions. And here on this side, which is, uh, we have first um, this social or ph philanthropic versus the business or economic dimension. Um, I like this. And that refers actually both to, you could say, the, the, the goals of the activity, but also to the values or, you could say, logics, or, and also the resources that are uh, used, whether it is mm, organized around human resources or whether the economic resources play a bigger role. And then we have the other dimension here, which says top-down, or it says participatory or self-organizing which uh, has to do with, you could say, the organizing or management uh, dimensions, whether it's very much driven by some hierarchical <coughs> order or whether it's more participatory and self-organization uh, um, that drives it. And then we have plotted some examples in here. First of all, we have the Red Cross, which is, you could say, very social and philanthropic both in its resources, uh, but also uh, in, its, in its goals, but it has some, some elements or a movement towards the more uh, economic side. And also, uh, you could say, the, the youth department of the organization goes towards the participatory elements because they draw much more on self-organization. Here we have uh, an example which is both very much around the social purpose, but also largely self-organized, the Copenhagen Food Corp, uh, which you know from last semester. And these are examples. Then we have the example here, Life Straw, which is actually business, but it has a social purpose, but it runs very much like traditional business, both in terms of the management style, but also in terms of the very large um, role that it, the economic capital and other values play. Um, and then we have something here which, Peter, can you remember? No, you covered it already. Okay, good. <laughs> then we have Bicycle, which is, we placed it on this, the economic or business end of this scale because it is really, they really insist on having it economically sustainable. They only want to run the organization or the business from money that they generate themselves, but they have a large, um, they have a very much participation and self-organization as part of the organization. So, and for me in Seed Bank, we have, it's, um, even though it's very much, in a way, business oriented, it still has uh, a lot of self-organization in, in organized groups. So this was our way to, in a way, show the different dimensions and categories related to social entrepreneurship. Thank you. Thank you.